Hey there, how's it going? Fon here. Thanks for joining me. Today I would like to look at a subject which has been something I've been interested in for many years, but it's an unusual one. Let me run this idea by you. I believe that the numbers we use in music theory are, for want of a better word, actually incorrect. I believe that there is a better way to count the numbers in music theory and I'm not the only person who thinks that. Link in description. So how did this all come about? Well, many years ago, I was waiting to give a guitar lesson one evening, and I was just casually thinking about the word octave. This is an octave here. Where you start on an E, you've reached another E, an octave higher. Oct is the, octo is the Greek and Latin word for eight. So I was saying, but there are clearly 12 notes in the octave, not 8, so shouldn't we be calling it a 12 tape? I googled counting in 12s and was amazed to find the Dusnell Society of Great Britain and the Dusnell Society of America, and they believe that zero decimal is better than decimal. I was shocked when I discovered that, and then I looked at the possibility of, well, how does that fit in with music theory? Uh, and the answer is it ties in very well in 10 base or decimal counting you one and you zero mean you've completed a cycle. An octave in music is also when you've completed a cycle. The E, an octave higher, is the same note, it's an E. So I was wondering, well, you've got your eight base in music, you've got your 10 base in normal counting you one and you zero, and lo and behold, in duodecimal counting, dozen is written one zero which means you've completed one cycle and you're starting again which is exactly what happens in the octave in music and you count it in duodecimal suddenly all of the little problems with musical counting disappear and you you get one system that works absolutely perfectly let's look into it in a little more detail so what are the numbers that we use in music theory we use the most popular number base in the world, which is decimal or 10 base. There are 10 digits or numbers or fingers. The word digit is finger and number. And most experts agree. That that's why we humans chose 10 base is simply because we have 10 fingers. No other reason. There are other possibilities. Um, there are other number bases. So binary is two base, hexadecimal is 16 base. But the number base that I believe is far superior for counting music theory is duodecimal or dozenal or 12 base. So just before we can start looking at music theory, first of all, we're going to have to take a little look at how duodecimal works. Oh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, deck, L, do. Now, there are two interesting things here. Why do we call them deck L do and what's going on with the symbols? X used to be used in Roman numerals or Latin numerals for 10. So it makes a lot of sense to use X for the 10. E obviously stands for 11. So it makes a lot of sense to use E for 11. One and zero means the same thing that it means in decimal. What we mean when we go one zero in decimal is zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, start again, new cycle with a one and a zero. Okay, so when you start again in duodecimal, what we normally call 12 or one and two, we call it one and zero because what we mean is at this point we're starting a new cycle in exactly the same way that we mean it when we're in decimal. There are other systems of writing the 10 and the 11. Some use A and B. Some use an upside down 2 uh, and various other systems. But I think that honestly, I'm, I'm with the school of people who think that the X and the A and then the one and the zero is perfectly correct. Let's take a very brief look at how duodecimal is actually superior to decimal for 
dividing into basic fractions. So if young kids were actually taught a bit of geodesimal in school, number one, it would be interesting for them to know about other number bases. Number two, fractions are much easier. So moving on, let's have a little look now at the music theory side of things. We use our decimal counting. However, we actually use eight base in music theory. The most crucial piece of music theory is, in fact, the octave. This goes right back to the time of the great Greek philosopher Pythagoras, 500 BC, approximately. Um, he discovered that one note sounds kind of the same to another note if it's double the frequency, like this. There are two C notes. Now, if you like a little bit of physics, the frequency of this note is going to be twice the frequency of that note. And if we go to a lower C, it's going to be half the frequency. What I mean by that is, let's take a different note, for example, um, an A note. Concert pitch is set at 440 hertz for an A note. What that means is hertz is cycles per second. So when you listen to an A, it's at 440 cycles per second. The next day up is going to be twice as many, 880. And your next day down is going to be 220. So there's the little bit of physics. So here we go with a standard C major scale. Here's our C note. And you probably know this already, but the piano always has two blacks three blacks, two blacks, three blacks. To find your C note, you always just go one to the left of any set of two. That's a C, that's a C, that's a C, and so on. Anyway, so we're starting on C or Do or one. Watch. Do, Re, Mi, Fa, So, La, Ti, Do. Also known as C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. Also known as 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. If we use duodecimal counting instead, and if we start on the O or 0, it becomes O, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, deck, L. Start again. Do or does or 12. Let's swap to the key of E. Let's do an E major scale on the guitar in the key of E on one string. But Do, Re, Mi, Fa, Sol, O, T, Do. See how many frets I skipped over there. Skip, skip. Don't skip, 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 don't skip. So that's the eight notes, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. But in reality, it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, start again. So in standard music theory, C major is composed of root or one, and three, and five, and eight. Watch. Root or one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, octave. One, three, five, octave. C, E, G, C is your C major chord. So if you wanted to number that instead with duodecimal system, the way you would do it is you would say O, oh, one, two, three, four, O, oh, four, five, six, seven, O, oh, four, seven, and your 12 or do or does is there. O, oh, four, seven, does, O, oh, four, seven, do. So thank you very much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed that. If you're already a musician or a music professor, I hope you didn't find it too shocking. Have a think about what I'm saying. I'm not the only person who believes that this is the way forwards. I'm going to put links in the description to some of the other people who think that this is indeed the way forwards for music theory. So thank you very much for joining me. All the best. God bless.